Mr. Cornell, I have tried to be neighborly. I'll try being friendly. And I have tried to be cordial. I don't know what it is that you're trying to be. That first night, I was appreciative that you carried my trunk upstairs. The fact that it slipped and fell five flats and some mashed to pieces <laughs> was not your fault. I didn't even mind that personal message you painted on the stairs. I thought it was crazy, <laughs> but sort of sweet. However, things have now gone too far. I cannot accept gifts from a man I hardly know. Especially canned goods. And I read your little note. I can guess the gist of it even though I don't speak Italian. This has got to stop, Mr. Cornell. I can do without you leaving little chocolate almond Hershey bars in my mailbox. They melted yesterday, and I got three gooey letters from home with nuts in them. And I can do without you sneaking into my room when I go to work and painting my balcony without telling me about it. I stepped out there yesterday, and my slippers are still glued to the floor. And I can do without you tying big bottles of Alec Cologne on my cat's tail. Poor thing kept swishing it yesterday, nearly beat herself to death. And most of all, I can do without you watching me get on the bus every day through that high-powered telescope. You had me so nervous the other day, I got on the wrong bus. In short, Mr. Cornell, and I don't want to have to say this again, leave me 